my uh, love affair, my passion for BMW um, started when I was in university in 1972. I'd had a Volkswagen Beetle, uh, which wasn't a very exciting car. And I managed to trade it in on a brand new Inca Orange uh, 72 2002 TII, and, um, which was a, just absolutely a fantastic car. Um, it could carry all my stuff that I would take to college, my stereo, my speakers, you know, my records, uh, all my clothes, you name it. And then when you got there and you took it all out, you had a, a sports car. And, um, and I just drove the wheels off that car over, over literally over the three years that remained uh, in my education. And I lived in a very hill, my school was in a very hilly area of Ohio, the state of Ohio. And, um, and I would take that car out on a weekend. And I, I literally would, I go down these back country roads driving like a crazy man. Uh, and it's kind of a miracle. I'm, I'm alive today. I think when I, when I think, I think about it, but, um, just love that car and uh, it did everything perfectly. And I loved it so much that, and of course I then set, I sold it in probably 1975 or so. And I, um, uh, when I retired from racing in 1998 and I was going to start collecting some, classic cars. The first car that I wanted to have restored was uh, a 72 TII. And uh, I, I went to a fellow up in the northern part of Illinois called The Workshop. They restore BMWs. And uh, they look like they came off the assembly line when they're done with them. And I told him, I, I want an Inca Orange 2002, 72, you know, round tail light, very, very important. Uh, TII, uh, I don't want it tricked out. You know, I just want it as, as it was originally. I, I did put a five speed in it, which makes it even better uh, as a car than the four speed. But, uh, and so that was my first car and uh, to be restored. And I still own that today. It's been 20 years since its restoration. Um, and uh, I still drive it to, in fact, I just drove it from Illinois, from Chicago, all the way to Florida, which is about an 18 hour drive, 17 hour drive. And, uh, you know, everybody goes by you, thumbs up and, you know, honks and, you know, because I think just about everybody had a 2002 at some point in their life. And uh, so that's where the that's where the passion started. Then I had 320i, 320s, uh, you know, I had 7, 750, uh, the old cars. I've had an M1. Um, I had a three liter CSL. So, I mean, uh, really, it was from that BMW, that TII, that the passion started uh, for me with BMW. How I got with BMW, the beginnings of my association with BMW and motor racing, really came from, in 1979, I drove the European Formula 2 Championship. And I drove for a, a factory called Chevron Cars up in the northern, northern part of England. And we used the four-cylinder um, uh, Brian Hart engine, which was kind of based on a Cosworth engine. I couldn't get the BMW. Um, and the BMW engine was certainly, I think, the engine to have. Um, they'd proven that in 73 when, uh, in its debut, um, uh, that it won the F3, or the Formula 2 championship that year with uh, Jean-Pierre Jarier. And, um, but I couldn't get a BMW, and nobody at BMW North America was really that interested, you know. So I'm over there and I'm racing against BMWs and, and Mark Sewer, who I got to know, and there were many others. They had the BMW kind of junior team, uh, Mark Sewer, and, and uh, I'm trying to think who else was in there. I think Beppe Gabbiani was there from Italy, and, and my, I think there were three cars, and guys like Eddie Cheever had BMWs. Um, so I raced against those, those engines, and, you know, we were pretty competitive, but clearly BMW was, you know, the engine to have. Um, you know, fast forward from 1979 to 1986 or 85, and I, I'd been working with McLaren USA, who ran the BMW IMSA program, and bugging them that I, I wanted to, you know, let me drive the car. I was driving Indy cars at the time, and uh, so I finally got the chance to to drive with with the team with BMW in the March BMW, which was an English chassis with a BMW four cylinder turbocharged engine, which was an unbelievable engine. And um, went to Sebring. Um, I was just astonished how fast the, the car was. The engine was so powerful. It was, you know, we were racing against 
Al Holbert and the 962 Porsche and a number number of others. And I mean, there was no contest. I mean, uh, the, the BMW, and we weren't even, we hadn't even turned it up for qualifying and just in race form. And uh, so my confidence was really high with it and, and going to qualifying. And uh, the first two corners at Sebring were flat in qualifying. First one easily flat, second one not so easy. And uh, anyway, I, I'm set off on my to do my qual lap and um, get through turn, turn one, no problem. I mean, you're going fast. And uh, got to turn two and I'm in the middle of turn two and everything's fine. Then all of a sudden it just spins goes quiet everything goes upside down by all accounts there's no, nobody's ever had, i've never seen a picture of it but one of the corner workers told me the car was about 30 feet into the air upside down and then it just endowed you know from there almost to the next corner which is like a quarter of a mile away um luckily it was on the grassy sandy area so every time it hit it wasn't that hard of a hit but nevertheless ended up upside down um you know, it, 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 despite the drama of the, of the crash, it wasn't, the car wasn't hurt that bad, but it was hurt enough that not only did they withdraw my car, but then they withdrew the other car because what had happened is the rear tail section had come off the car and it took the rear wing with it. And uh, that's what caused the accident. So it was a very short-lived, uh, <laughs> short-lived uh, uh, relationship with BMW at that time. But you know, from that and over the years, of course, uh, um, you know, I was always bugging whoever it might be at, at BMW North America on the motorsport side that, you know, we I wanted to, I wanted to run as a team owner. Then I wanted to run uh, the the BMW program, and uh, finally, after a number of years, uh, had the chance to go make our presentation in Munich to BMW Motorsport and. Um, uh, and uh, it was accepted, and so that was 2007, I believe. So we've we've been together now quite a quite a few years.